All right, what's up, everybody? It's Boy Kenny. Now, today, 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 we got some GTA 6 facts for you guys. Now, you may have known these facts. You may have not known these facts. It is what it is. But today, I'm going to give you some facts. These are some facts that are lit that we all know. That we it, it, It's confirmed. You cannot ignore it. These are the facts. Okay? I don't want people to be like, oh, well, you know, well, how do you know? Where's your sources? Listen, the sources, the sources, the internet. And the internet, I'm, well, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. The sources actually came from, like, the actual trailer. Uh, take two confirmed a lot of these things that I'm about to say um, and all right I'm gonna be honest with you there, there are there are some there are some uh, predictions in here but um, I'm gonna tell you guys like the actual facts first okay now number one I got them all on my phone so you know it is what it is now the first fact is that the game will release that GTA 6 will release in the fall of 2025 that is confirmed by take two uh take two actually just confirmed that um and like the conference call was it like last week or was it like i think it was like last week or uh, two weeks ago they had a conference call um and all the information got sent to the public like it always does and uh take two said that they it's almost like a guaranteed it's like 95 percent almost a guaranteed shot that the game will come out in the fall of 2025 so if you guys do not know what the fall of 2025 is like the months is it's september to november that is the fall okay so i'm gonna be honest with you that sounds really good um i was expecting to be honest with you okay i'm gonna give you my prediction at the, at the end of the video or whatever but that sounded like the like the ballpark range of like where i thought it was going to come out at um and so yeah on to the next one all right so we got the game takes place in vice city if you guys don't know, Vice City is, is well, Vice City is Miami, uh, but, you know, obviously in, in, in the GTA world, in the Rockstar Games world, uh, Miami is Vice City. So uh, if you guys do not know what Vice City is, basically uh, Vice City was in, um, 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 uh, was it, what was it in, GTA 3, I think? No, no, GTA Vice City. My brain. Vice City was in the game, Vice City, GTA Vice City. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I played well Vice City. I'll be honest for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I, I'm listening. I'm, I'm being completely truthful. For you. I'm being like just completely honest. I played GTA Vice City for like 30 minutes. It was when I was young. I'm, I, I I wouldn't say I didn't like the game, or whatever. But like, you ever just play a game that like you ever just play a game for like a little bit and you're like, eh, and then you play another game and you can play that game for like you bro, you can play that game from 12 to 12. It was crazy. So. I mean, I did like GTA Vice City back then, but to be honest with you, bro, I had like, bro, I had so many legendary games, yo. I had NFL Street, bro. I had uh, Madden, bro. I had, uh, bro. I had, bro. I had GTA San Andreas, which I liked more. Um, so like, I, I wouldn't say that I didn't like Vice City or whatever. It's just like you know, I had a lot of games that I, bro, that I just plainly just love more than GTA Vice City. It's crazy, right? Because it's a GTA game, but. I mean, bro, it was GTA San Andreas and, you know, NFL Street. It was, like, a lot of those games that I love more than Vice City. So, I'm not going to sit here and shame Vice City. It's just, if I'm being honest with you, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Now, um, like I said, it would take place in Vice City, uh, which is, again, Miami. Because if you guys don't know, Los Santos is basically Los Angeles. Um, you know, what GTA would like to do is they'll like to not 100 percent copy the city but they would like most likely copy like the skyline of like the city so if you guys don't know in gta 4 uh gta 4 took place in new york they had the statue of liberty in new york uh, in uh in liberty city they had like brooklyn they had like little haiti they had like a lot of these you know um they had like a lot of these new york places and stuff like that um from new york and gta 4 so Obviously, they did the same thing, which, and which I do love. I love that. I really do. Um, obviously, San Andreas, they did the same thing. I think San Andreas, was, I think San Andreas was more like San Francisco. Yeah, I think San Andreas was more like San Francisco. I think, or I know it was it was Los Santos too, right? I think the game was called Lo, it was called San Andreas because like it was it represented like the state, you know. And obviously, if you guys don't know, Los Santos is basically Los Angeles. Um, and then it lives in the state of San Andreas. San Andreas is basically California. You guys didn't know that. So, um, and San, and like in, in uh, GTA San Andreas, whatever, I think it was like a mix of like San Francisco and, and like Los Santos. If I'm wrong, comment down below, but I'm pretty sure we've seen like the, uh, like the, what was it? Like the Golden Gate Bridge or whatever in San Andreas, I think. 
Was it? I think it was in there, wasn't it? Or maybe I'm. Uh, listen, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But um, oh yeah, so obviously we got Los Angeles, uh, which is Los Santos and GTA Five. Now, again, we we are in Miami. We are in Vice City. Now, if you guys do not know the uh, like like the name of the state, it's called Leonetta. Now, Leonetta is basically um, it is the Leonetta is basically like the video game version of Florida. It's like the word Florida, or whatever. So um, I, I was actually new to that. I didn't actually even know that um, that Florida was even called anything in GTA, or whatever. But uh, if you actually look in the trailer, you can actually see like Leonetta on like the highway sign, or whatever. You can see like uh, like Leonetta um, News or like Leonetta Highway and stuff like that. It was, it was so basically if you, that's like the state name uh, for Florida uh, in the game, whatever. So that that's can that's like obviously facts. Um, we got two playable characters. We got Jason. And then we got um, 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 uh, Lucia. Um, now, to be honest with you, they were... Now, I don't know if Rockstar was basically going for like a Bonnie and Clyde type of thing. But obviously, they're like a couple. And, uh, you know, they're robbing banks and stuff like that. So, they're not really robbing banks. But, like, they're robbing places and taking money whatever. So, that's basically like a Bonnie and Clyde type of story. Um, you know, so if I'm being honest with you, that sounds pretty cool and ever. Um, but I don't know why, bro. I feel like there's going to be like some type of like option to like portray one another i don't know but that's just me i, I don't know if like gta is going to do that whatever i don't work in the inside whatever but like i don't know i feel like it would be like a like a great twist if like we could like control who you want to control and then like one of us had the option to like portray somebody like like portray like the other character or somebody like that would be crazy um another thing is gta 6 budget is two billion dollars now rockstar they didn't come out and say hey well our budget for the game is 200,000 200 uh sorry i get up i'm bro i'm getting the numbers mixed up our budget for the game isn't two billion dollars or whatever um they didn't say that but there were leaks i don't know if you guys bro i don't know if you guys remember there was a guy who leaked so much like uh like uh, unfinished gameplay first of bro he got arrested did y'all know that he was like a Br some british dude in like London or whatever, bro, he got arrested, bro. He got a bro location, just just completely just visible, bro, bro. Black vans outside the house, outside his London home, bro. He was in the bedroom hiding like these, bro, under the covers. It was GGs. It was done for him. Um, but yeah, it was like some British teenager, or whatever. And he leaked. He legit leaked so much like unfinished gameplay, or whatever. A lot of people were going haywire, like, oh, this is what GTA 6 is like. I waited 10 years for this. Them not knowing that this is, you know, unfinished gameplay or whatever. Uh, which is kind of dumb on his part because he leaked unfinished gameplay. Um, my brain kind of aches from that because why would you leak unfinished g gameplay? I mean, it, it, like, I, I don't know. Like, what was your... Like, I understand you try to do that for us, bro, but, like it's kind of like not smart because like it's unfinished like it's not you get like it's not finished like it's not put together like bro it's kind of like you're kind of like bro like you're kind of like giving me like an uncooked pizza like what like like it's kind of like your mom made a pizza by scratch and then you and then she put the pizza in the oven and then like your older sibling went to the oven pulled the pizza out and he gave it to you and said, oh, here, here you go. Brother, the pizza's not done. And then the mom comes in and she, and she goes crazy on your sibling for giving me the pizza. Bro, you basically did that for the pizza's not done. What are you? The pizza's not your you're giving me the pizza for what the pizza is not. Bro, the pizza is it's incomplete, bro. This, this is an incompleted task. This, this deserves an F. Why are you giving me this incomplete? Huh? What's the point? Like, what are we supposed to do with this? Is incomplete. This, this is, this, this isn't com like. What are we supposed like? Huh? Like, what? Are, what do we? I mean, shout out to you for trying to help us out, but like, I, I could see if everything was polished up or whatever. Like, you know, like then you would have leaked it out. All right, cool, great. Bro, it's not even. Bro, it's not even done. Like, I was so confused of why he did that, but. It is what it is, man. On to the next topic. All right, so, oh yeah, so GTA Six budget is two billion dollars. Now, again, speaking on like the whole leak situation, whatever. Now, supposedly, whenever that British guy uh, leaked a bunch of information, 
turns out that uh, it was leaked that their budget was two billion dollars. So I don't even know what somebody got that from, but a lot of people grabbed that and like put it out, whatever. If that's real, then that's real. Um, but to be honest with you, I mean, if you look at like the previous budgets for the past like two GTAs, GTA Four budget was on one hundred million dollars. That's confirmed. That's literally confirmed. Let me get this right here. GTA 4's uh, budget was $100 million. That's confirmed. GTA's, uh, bro, GTA 5 uh, budget was $256 million. So, if I'm being honest with you, this doesn't seem like it, oh, like it, it, like this seems believable because if you go from like the, obviously, like there was a huge increase from G are you serious right now? There was a huge uh, increase from, you know, GTA 4 to GTA 5 just graphically. Bro, I heard a little birdie told me. I actually made a video, bro, probably like last year. They, uh, Rockstar Games leaked like a little, uh, like a little test of like the water physics. Brother, they're spending millions on the water physics. I told y'all this last year whenever I reacted to the clip. I was like, brother. The water physics look, bro, it looks, it looks so real, y'all. If you've ever, like, seen, like, beach water in real life, bro, like, like, the little, uh, bubbly foam, like, bro, it, it looked, in, bro, it looked incredible, bro. I think I still have it on my channel. Bro, Rockstar leaked, like, the little gameplay of, like, the, uh, water footage, bro. It was incredible, bro. And they're putting millions, they're putting millions into the water physics so imagine if you're if they're putting millions into the water physics imagine how much money it's going to take uh, imagine how much money they're putting into like in, into like the landscape of the entire game imagine the amount of money they're putting into like um the buildings the environment the animals um bro bro if you're looking at gta 6 trailer bro and there's swamps i bro this is legit florida bro there's Miami's in there. Obviously, it's by city. That so the city's in there, bro. One of the opening, sh bro. One of the opening shots is you from outside the city, and like, and there's like highways or whatever. Turns out there's multiple parts, because it's not just oh by city and then that's it, and brother. No, it's Vice City, and then you have swamps because and bro, you have the Everglades because obviously in the trailer they show like you know the alligators. Um, um, what other animals that I see they show like all different types of birds that are in Florida, bro They even show the Florida Keys Brother you have the Florida Keys. So not only do you have one big chunk of a city, which is Vice City You also have the Everglades. You also have the Florida Keys brother. That's three. That's three different parts already That's three different parts already if you look at GTA 5's map It's just Los Santos. So you have Los Santos you have the airport bottom left. You have Los Santos. Above Los Santos, you have like the like the hills. You have like the mountains and the hills where some people live in like Rockford Hills, whatever. And then above them, you have just straight just hills and mountains and stuff like that. Above that is like some water. It's just basically all water, whatever. Above the water, you have um you have um 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 um, um sandy shores. Bro, and that's it. There's nothing above Sandy Shores. And then next to Sandy Shores is like some mountains or whatever. So you have mountains, Sandy Shores, Los Santos or Los Angeles or whatever. And then the, you have like the airport. And then around that is just water. Brother, what we've seen already, bro, we have Vice City, which is Miami. You have the Florida Keys, which is under it. Like you can tell like, if, you've not, if you guys never seen Florida before, there's Miami. There's a city, Miami. There's the Florida Keys. The, the Florida Keys are like its own, like, I would say the Florida Keys. I mean, I would say, like, it, it's not like its own island. I mean, technically, it's like an island because it's off. It's, it, like, it, it's still connected to, like, Miami or whatever. But, like, it's literally, like, s surrounded by water. Bro, you have, like, the Florida Keys. You have the Everglades. Then, if you even look at the GTA trailer again, there's people in, like, the forest era, in, in the, the forest uh, area doing all these like these mud challenges stuff like that i don't know if you guys know but in florida they do like mud challenges and uh they, they basically just have a bunch of fun in mud it's crazy i mean i don't <laughs> i mean it's crazy I mean, bro florida's crazy or whatever but bro like they have like they have like a forest era uh area where like you know people are, are just going crazy in mud um 
What else, bro? What else did I see in, in the trailer, bro? And, bro, they have, like, a prison area. Bro, it... This map, bro, I, I don't even, like... This map is going to be huge. So, the imagine the amount of money. If you think they're spending millions... If you think millions are just being dumped into the water, bro. Imagine the amount of money is being dumped into, like, all the places on the map. It's crazy, bro. It's honestly crazy, bro. So, this $2 billion budget stuff, bro, that's not... That's not surprising, bro. And then I'm hearing people say, I'm hearing people on social media say, oh, well, there's no way they're going to make that back. They made it, bro. <laughs> You're never going to believe this. You can look this up right now. It was on the news and everything. I remember this when I was a kid. This is, bro, this, bro. I remember this when I was a kid. I remember the news guys saying, that GTA 5 made a $1 billion in like the first three days. They made $1 billion in the first three days. And I believe they sold like a billion copies. Brother, they sold a billion copies of GTA 5 in the first day, I think. For sure, I know. I know this because I remember the news guy saying, I remember the reporter saying this. For sure, I remember hearing this, that they sold one, that they had $1 billion in sales for the first three days, bro. If you think, brother, if you think, and we're talking about the story mode, imagine the online. You do know that that's where GTA made its most money at, right? The GTA 5 made its most money from the online. It's, brother, it's making millions Right now, as I talk to you, you do know that, right? GTA 5's online, uh, bro, it, it, it's, we're not even, ta I'm not even talking about shark cards. Brother, the, the online itself generates so much revenue that they don't have, bro, of course, of course it took them 10 years. They can sit, they can sit down right now. They've been sitting down for 10 years. To make sure that, that the next GTA is perfect. So guess what? Even though... I'm going to be honest with you. As I get older, I understand why. Because, bro, they have millions coming in every single day from their own line. And all that's doing... And, and I imagine them just taking a lot of that money and just adding it on to GTA 6. Of course, they're playing, they, like they're paying their employees, whatever. But that's like behind the scenes stuff. Of course. But, bro, like... I'm not... like I, I understand why they took like 10 years, bro. Like, now I do. When I was younger, when I was, like, a little younger, I can't lie to you, bro. I was fed up with Rockstar. I'm like, bro, Rockstar, like, if, bro, if you don't drop it the next year, bro, I'm running phase with everybody. I don't care who it is, bro. I'm running phase with everybody, bro. Everybody, everybody's going to get my knuckles, bro. Drop the game next year. But, you know, as you get older, bro, you understand that a lot of these decisions, especially, like, big decisions as GTA, bro, GTA 6, bro, that's the, I mean, I don't want to, you know, sit here and glaze, but, bro, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and glaze, bro. GTA 6 is the most important game of our generation. GTA 6 is literally the most, bro, it's the most important game of our generation right now. It is. It literally is. That, that's facts. That is the most anticipated game to ever grace the planet. Do you understand? That's the, bro, GTA 5 is the most anticipated game to ever grace this planet, bro. It literally is. Everybody and their mom is waiting for this, bro. It's like the new Playboy Cardi album. <laughs> Even though you're not a Playboy Cardi fan, you know if that man Playboy Cardi drop an album tomorrow, it's going to go absolutely insane. You know why? Because he's mysterious. He doesn't drop every single day. He doesn't He doesn't drop an album every single year or whatever, bro. That man can go ghost. People like artists, TV series, movie series or whatever, or video game series, when they go ghosts for a very long time and then they make a comeback, they tend to be successful. Now, granted, this is Rockstar Games. Whatever game they drop is going to be successful. That's just what it is. But I'm saying just in general, like it, it, uh, like Rockstar has been able to, they made, they've been able to, um, to keep this like mystique to them to the point to where like, you know what, we're going to go away for like five to ten years. We're not going to say a word. Cool. We'll drop Red Dead Redemption. That's an amazing game, by the way. We'll drop that game four or five years later after GTA 5. But let's be honest. Everybody and their mom is waiting for GTA 6. So you know what? Let's not say nothing. Let's just work on this in, in, in peace and quiet. 
our, everybody's enjoying our story mode. Our, our, our online is booming, making millions a month, a day, whatever. Let's just sit on it and just and just build up this game and make it as perfect as we can. So then whenever this game comes out, we could do the next week, bro. And they're going to keep doing this, bro. GTA 6, GTA 7, GTA, bro, they're going to keep doing it. So at the end of the day, bro, like, I can see why the budget is $2 billion. That doesn't surprise me. They're going to, bro, they're going to make that in a day. They're going to, bro. They're going to make $2 million, bro. People don't, bro. They don't believe. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you, bro. Rockstar is going to make $2 billion, Bro, they're going to make $2 billion. If not a day, in two days. They're going, bro, it, it, people tell us, oh, there's no way they can make that, bro. They made a billion dollars in three days with GTA 5. GTA 5 broke everything. GTA 5, bro, like, took over. What are we talking about? Imagine what, bro, imagine what GTA 6 is going to do. Are we, like, are we, like, are we not, are we not understanding what GTA 5, if you think GTA 5 did something, Bro, wait for GTA 6, bro. When GTA 6 come through, what do you think GTA 6, bro? GTA 6 is gonna slam everything, bro. Bro, you, bro, GTA 6 might bring back midnight releases. Now I understand, like people still do midnight releases for like Nintendo games and all that. Bro, GTA 6, bro, people are gonna be doing like midnight releases, bro. And guess what? I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be outside of GameStop, bro, camping. Yeah, I'll do that, bro. R bro, r bro, I promise you, GTA is the only game that I will go outside, bro, and sit and sit. For some hours to get the game. I'll do that. I'll do that. Sure, I'll do it. Because guess what? Here's what I know. Is. Here's what I know. And I feel like a lot more people are going to do that too. Because here's what I know. If people can camp outside for like some Nintendo. And here's the thing. Nintendo uh, fans or whatever, bro. They ride out for their games. <laughs> Nintendo. Listen. Nintendo fans. They ride out for their games, bro. They, bro, they be standing out there. Bro, they'll buy the same game twice, bro. Just to stand out there and be with their people. And, bro, they'll buy, like, another version of the game. <laughs> so, imagine what people would do with GTA 6, bro. A game that we've been missing for 10 years, bro. Imagine what people would do for that game, bro. A lot of people, bro. And, and I, bro, I'm stumping it on the ground. A lot of people are going to, like, bro, I think midnight releases are going to come back. For GTA 6 only, though. For GTA 6 only. Obviously, like, people have them for, like, other games, stuff like that. But I think a major, uh, I think a major midnight release is for GTA 6, bro. I think that's really gonna come back. Sorry, y'all. I've been yapping for so long. All right, I think we got like a few more, then I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay. Oh, one more thing. This is confirmed, by the way. GTA 6 will release on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. But if you have PC, I am sorry, you gotta wait till next year in 2026. Um, I don't know why they did this. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I, I'll try to like, I'll try to like, see if I can know why. I mean, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think of a reason why. I mean, they're probably trying to get it to consoles as fast as possible, which makes sense because if I'm being honest with you, I would probably say, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I would probably say the average person most likely has a PlayStation or Xbox more than they would have a PC. Does that make sense? Or if I'm, if, hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I, I don't, I don't know. But I think that if you were to, if you were to uh, walk into your friend's house right now, he's most likely to have the Xbox or the PlayStation Five rather than a PC. Or he might have both. He or she might have both. But they're most likely gonna have like the Xbox or the or the, or the PlayStation. So, um, to be honest with you, I mean, it really don't like I, I don't. It is what it is. Um, other than that, man, like, and that's really it. I think I, I think that's really about it. Oh, prediction for the next trailer. I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. But um, for the whole PC thing, I mean, well, you just gotta wait a year. I mean, get like an Xbox. Xboxes or Xbox Series uh, X or S are usually cheaper than like PlayStation Five, or whatever. So if you want to hurry up and get a console. You much, bro. You might as well just get like the Xbox. It's way more cheaper than the PS5. Um, a lot more people are buying up the PS5 and stuff like that. For me, I like both, um, so it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I, 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 I'll get either or. It really doesn't matter to me. All right, so 
we have the prediction of the next GTA 6 trailer. Now, to be honest with you, okay, I got a prediction. I think the next GTA 6 trailer is going to come through in December. That's what I think. So if you guys don't remember, last year, December 4th, that's when the uh, GTA 6 trailer, like first GTA 6 trailer dropped. This year, I think that, I think they're going to drop the trailer. I think they're going to drop the trailer on like the, on, on the Game Awards, on the, on the same day as the Game Awards. So whenever, like, you know, the Game Awards happen, whatever, first of all, bro, the Game Awards, that's like the, that's like the, um, that's like the Grammys or like the Emmys. Of like the gaming industry. If you guys don't know what the Game Awards is. Um, it averages like millions of views. A stream. Uh, I've been watching the Game Awards for like some for some years. Like straight now. Uh, I love the Game Awards. I really do. Um, and obviously as a, as, a, as a guy who covers video games. And you know the new video games. Popular video games. Whatever. Um, like I'm there. You know checking out trailers. Whatever. I'm writing the trailers down. So I can you know react to them. As soon as the. Uh, as soon as like the, the uh, event's over. So, bro, I love the Game Awards. I love them. I think at the end of the Game Awards, see, here's the thing, bro. Like, I think, th here's what I'll say. I think, in, in the art, right, okay, 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 okay. Okay. In a perfect world, in a perfect world, I think that in the perfect world, the GTA 6 trailer will start as soon as Jeff Keighley says, okay, boom. Um, we have one more uh, one more uh, world premiere, da 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 and then we see the Rockstar logo, GG's. And then that's the whole, that bro, that's, we, they let the player, they let the, uh, the trailer play, whatever. Everybody's excited, da 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 boom, right? Because best believe, I can't lie to you, bro, because, bro, Jeff Keighley, he's going to have me in a loop. I can, bro, I'm going to have my phone out every single time, bro. I'm going to get, like, a live reaction to seeing this trailer. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to get, like, a live reaction. So, Jeff Keighley, bro, just know, bro, you're going to have my heart beating crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh, whenever, he, whenever he's about to release the game, not, not him himself. I mean, Jeff Keighley, you're, you're a well-kept guy and everything like that, but don't get no ideas, buddy. But um, to be honest with you, man, um, I think they're going to play. I think in a perfect world, I think they're going to play the GTA 6 uh, second trailer at the game awards i do think i i do think with all my heart i do think that there's a second trailer coming out this year i think so i think so because it's already what been what uh what eight months of this year first of all bro time flies crazy make sure you guys take every single second um uh, make sure you guys like use every single second you can um uh, you know to, to to follow your dreams and stuff like that y'all because time flies man Time does not wait for nobody, and guess what? No matter how rich you are, you can't buy time. Sorry for that little... I, I didn't want to be inspirational right there, but that's the truth. Um, but to be honest with you, bro, in a perfect world, I think that, you know, it might drop the Game Awards. Hopefully it does, man, because if it does, then, man, that would be crazy, man. Imagine GTA 6 dropping off at the Game Awards, man. Woo! Man, that would... Man. man, hey, I care a lot of you, bro. My heart would be bumping, bro. My heart would be bumping, bro. Straight bumping. I, man, like, I I don't know. I, I, like, I just get excited talking about it, bro. Like, I don't know, man. It might, listen, it might come through um, at the Game Awards, man. And if it does, I'm going to be super excited, man. I'm going to be super excited. So, comment down below, man. What do you guys think? Um, like, when do you guys think the second trailer uh, of GTA might come through? And also... Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about all these facts? Again, most of these facts are like are seen from the trailer, from Rockstar, from leaks and stuff like that. I'm not making anything up. A lot of the things that here's like I said before in the last video. If you guys didn't watch the last video, make sure you guys go watch. By the way, make sure you guys go like and subscribe. Okay, from that video. But um, a lot of things. I mean, you guys know about a lot of things. You guys do know about like this isn't. I'm not telling you guys like the secrets to. You know, to go to Saturn or anything like that. Like a lot of you guys already know a lot of these um, facts stuff like that. So I know I've been yapping for a very long time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy. Man, and I'm excited for that GTA 6. Other than that, man, I got videos dropping in the morning. I will continue the Suicide Squad 
um, all cutscenes, uh, reactions, and stuff like that. So, I'm gonna get a lot of those videos up uh, tomorrow. Make sure you guys stay tuned for those. Um, I'm also gonna put those in a playlist as well. So, you know, so you guys don't have to, like, you know, uh, panic and, like, scroll through a bunch of videos just to see the Suicide Squad, um, you know, videos, stuff like that. I'm gonna just put them in a the playlist so it can be easier for you guys. So, other than that, man, I'll see you guys later. Focusing on them out. Um, man, I've been talking for a very long time. I gotta go. And.